know. I'm going to talk about the formative assessment label in Blackboard Ultra in this video. Many of us use formative assessments in our courses as a way of helping students see how they're progressing and also on our end to, to get a sense of whether students are mastering the content or things need to be retaught or revisited. Blackboard Ultra gives us the option to label those assignments so that students can see that their formative assessments and that we can also sort and look at formative assessments. So first I'm going to show you that what that label looks like. And you can see that here I have a pre-assessment no or no assignment that is labeled as formative and it has this little indicator here. That indicator is also visible um, in the grid view of the gradebook. Formative assessment is worth zero points. And then also you can see that in the list view of the gradebook, that's going to show up as a formative assessment there as well. In the student view, we also see those labels. And I'll just click through that so you can see it. Here's that pre-assessment in the student view. It's showing as formative. Also in the student's gradebook, we can see this pre-assessment is showing as formative. If I go back to the content view and I go into the module one, I can create an assessment. So I go into create and then in the assessment menu, I have assignment. So I can click assignment. And then here where it says course grade category, I can click on the hyperlink for assignment and that's where I have the option to choose that it is a formative assessment. You'll see in this spot, you can also decide whether or not you want to display that label to students or if you just want to have that label on the assessment for yourself. The next thing I want to show you is how in the gradebook can you sort assignments as formative or summative. So if I go back into the grid view of the gradebook, I have this option to filter and what I can do is I can select formative assessments in the gradebook and when I apply that, you'll see that just the two assessments that are labeled as formative are showing up. If I go back into that filter and I choose summative and I apply that, I'm going to see just the assignments that are summative assessments for the course. And anything that is not labeled as formative assessment by default is going to be classified as a summative ass assessment in Blackboard Ultra. The last thing that I want to show you is how you can exclude an assignment from gradebook calculations in case you want to use your formative assessments in such a way that students receive a grade for them, but they don't count toward their final grade. You can see that the way that I did that here when I created this is I just assigned it zero points so that I can grade the students on the rubric, but they won't see any point value. Sometimes students get concerned when they see a zero out of zero on an assignment. And so you might want to actually assign some points value and that would be a reason why you would then go in and exclude a formative assessment from the overall gradebook calculations. Another reason you might want to do this is let's say like this case study background assignment, this is really a draft. So what this assignment is intended to do is give students an opportunity to see where they are right now with the draft version of their case study background so that they can make improvements to it. Maybe I want to grade that on assignment and show them what grade this would get right now if they made no revisions to it. In that case, I could also have this have a point total that's associated with it, an actual grade that students see, but I might want to exclude it from the calculations for the final grade at the end of the course. The way that you do that is you go into this settings gear here and you scroll down and you choose um, manage overall grade settings. And these are in the assignments column. So when I go, when I open this um, list of assignments that are graded items in the gradebook that are um, assignment type assessments, um, you can see this pre-assessment no or no, which was a formative assessment. I can exclude that from overall grade calculation and this case study background, I can exclude that as well. 
I hope that this presentation was helpful in showing you how to use the four minute assessment label and let me know if you have any questions.